You're watching Wild Wheels on Torque TV. When it comes to 60s lowriders, the Impala is the car of choice. So to see some of the slickest Impalas in the country all in one place, we paid a visit to the Lifestyle Car Club. Lifestyle's been a club since 1975, and now they're one of the best lowrider clubs in the biggest lowrider city in America, Los Angeles. And just our luck, this morning it did something it doesn't do that much here. It rained. Generally, lowriders won't even come out when it's wet. But they made an exception for us. It just meant a few added protocols. Uh, in Lifestyle, if, if it's raining, he has to pull over before he gets here, and he shows anybody immediately. You pull over, you pull your flag down. You don't drive if there's a condition wrong with your car. And as you can see right now, there's a couple of members cleaning his car for him because it doesn't matter who owns the car because it reflects on us. Responsible for enforcing the rules is this guy, Lifestyle President Chewy Alonzo, or Chewy Rabbit as he's known around here. His car, Stoned Immaculate, is a 63 Impala with styling to match the year. It's got a Jetsons or early Bond flavor. The retro feel continues inside with tweed and vinyl to match the paint. The styling even extends into the trunk with hydraulics and batteries hidden behind the finish work. While the 63 Impala is a good catch, it's the year after that everyone wants. And Lifestyle Officer Joe Rodriguez has one of the prettiest around. It's a 64 Super Sport Impala convertible. It's got a chrome-covered 350 crate motor with a mild cam, which puts out about 400 horsepower. For Joe, the power is nice, but of course, it's not really about that. You gotta be able to put it on the floor. You gotta be able to drop it. It's not about hopping. Uh, it's not about uh, getting the front end off the ground. You need to be able to have those options, but it's not really about that. It's, it's about putting it on the floor. It's about being as low as you can to the floor. You're watching Wild Wheels on Torque TV. Now some of the cars are later models. Check out this 69 Impala. Lifestyle member Tattoo Tony's been working on it for over five years. And for his effort, was recently awarded the best interior and in show at Vegas. But it didn't come cheap. He reckons the interior cost him about 10 grand. And that was before he got into customizing the dash. One unusual feature is hydraulic pumps in the front rather than in the trunk. All chromed, of course. On the outside, the chameleon paintwork alters the colors depending on lighting and where you stand. He's got a customized grill, a skirt molded into the body, and one of the biggest sunroofs around. Now, lifestyle isn't all 60s Impalas. Treasure Bobby Flores drives the candy apple pink 79 Coupe de Ville that was getting dried off earlier. Like most low riders, El Diablo's in the details. The candy theme is everywhere, literally. Every bit of trim's been chromed. For that matter, so is the rear end and fuel tank. On the interior, he took apart the entire dash, rewired and marble painted it, and put it all back together. No small task. He chopped the stock bench seats to make buckets that still operate with the original controls. It's all done from a center console that also controls the windows, door hydraulics, and pretty much everything else, except the DVD player. Bobby's been working on it for a year and a half, and more dollars than he'd care to mention. But believe it or not, this low-riding caddy's still a work in progress. I'm not into uh, basketball. I'm not into baseball, bowling. Uh, you know, I'm not a golfer. Guys go work every day 40 hours. Where they go on the weekend? They go play golf. After my 40 hours of work, I go to my car. And there's nothing wrong with that. So, thanks for riding along on our visit with Lifestyle Car Club. And make sure you join us for more of Torque TV's Look at Lowriders. With a hopping contest you're not going to want to miss.